Well, now to an all new six fix major concerns this morning about an unlit parking lot in Colleen. Several cars have been broken into, leaving owners frustrated, demanding to know who is to blame. Well, Texas Today reporter Meredith Haas is live in the studio, getting them some answers. Good morning to you, Meredith. Yeah, good morning, Jasmine. So this lot at 602 Elms Road is unlit and has had multiple car break ins in the past few months. Tesla workers who have to park there overnight in order to get shuttled to the main facility where they work are very concerned. Colleen police confirmed the most recent break in at 602 West Elms Street where the lot is located. A resident related to this incident says they don't understand why KPD hasn't done anything to fix this issue, but KPD says they did file a criminal mischief report for the person whose car was broken into on October 13th, and they understand the concern, but suggest employees reach out to their employer and express their safety concerns about the parking lot. Now, Colleen police also confirmed there's no adequate lighting in the lot on Elm Street and that those responsible for the lot should look into hiring security to monitor the lot in the overnight hours. In the other day, eight cars being broken into and one was missing. You going to work, you're worrying about your vehicles. I think Tesla should get with the city of Colleen and find out uh, a better way of um, protecting the people's cars that work for Tesla. I reached out to Tesla multiple times, but have not heard anything back regarding the lot or whether they need to do something about it. Now I'm actively looking into whether it is their responsibility to get lighting in this lot or not, and how this could be really related to a troubling TikTok trend. Jasmine. OK, well, yeah, Meredith, if you speak of that TikTok trend, mm -hmm. you know, do you believe these break ins or do police believe these break ins are connected to the viral 254 Kia Boys challenge? Yeah, so I know the resident I spoke with said that a lot of these cars that have been broken into, especially that one on October 13th, the most recent one, was in fact a Kia, and a lot of the other ones were as well. I know I spoke to KPD earlier in a story that we ran maybe last week about the rise in crime in Colleen, and they've been seeing a lot of car thefts on the rise. So they are telling, they told me that it is troubling to see this trend go around, and it could be related to these incidents. Now I'll have more on this coming up at 630.